Hey everybody, Ed here, and I'm thrilled to do this first in what will become a series of things which will highlight applications and workflows that I do on iOS, uh, both the iPad and the iPhone. Um, because really, you know, if you've been following me for like 33 seconds, you'll know how passionate I am about these devices. I'd like to think there is a method to my madness. And the method to my madness is that I genuinely use these devices to make me so much more efficient and effective, I can't tell you. And in truth, I haven't been able to tell you. I haven't been able to show you what's been going on in my iPad for the longest time because um, you had to jailbreak your iPad or your iPhone, which made it incredibly unstable, to be able to show people what was you were able to do. Now, of course, with the new iOS system, um, I can show you, at least very on the iPad 2, and I'm sure the new iPhone, whenever it comes out, I'm able to show you exactly what I do. You can literally see me as I flick through these applications to show you exactly how I work, exactly what I do. So, with that, the one I want to show you today is sort of part review, part reminder of workflow, a bit of everything really to kick us off, and that is to have a look at that uh, icon that you can see down the bottom here, which is Mr. Reader. Now, Mr. Reader there, you can see that with the red 125 badges on. This is a brand new RSS reader application. You might notice uh, down below here, if I just tap on Reader, this has been my go-to application for everything um, when it comes to the iPhone and iOS. Like it's been a crucial, crucial, crucial part of everything that I do. Um, it is the most important application on my iPad and iPhone. It's the most vital one. Everything about it is absolutely crucial. And I have done some videos on using Reader. So when I saw uh, Rob Somerville on the weekend tweet that maybe Mr. Reader was indeed a um, potential competitor, well, I was interested. And so that's what we're going to do today. We are going to have a look at Mr. Reader and I'm going to see if it competes. Now, the first thing, of course, with Reader, and you saw how fast it started up there. And I'm very interested to see how quickly Mr. Reader starts up. So here we go. We're going to tap on there. And you can see there, and I've already set it up so that it has my feeds coming in. Um, and it allows me pretty much to go straight in and have a look at any of my items. Now, you can see down on the left-hand side, there's a menu. Some people go straight into uh, all unread items. So it shows everything that I need to sort of get. And you'll notice uh, it was pretty darn quick. Um, things are, are pretty speedy. Um, now, if I hit the refresh button here, you'll see that it'll sync with new items. It's doing that in a pretty quick way. And what's important is that you'll notice it's very, very, um, it allows you to work and do things at the same time because this is a, this is absolutely crucial because all of this, all of this is about speed because this is my most vital traffic cop application. Um, whenever I've got 30 seconds, I'm in my reader having a look at what's going on and staying abreast of what's going on in my marketplace and things that I'm interested in, things that I'm fascinated by. And you can see the categories um, down the left-hand side, 30-Day Challenge, Cool Mac Stuff, Getting Things Done, Guitar, Internet Marketing, Market Research, Photography, Web, Arsenal, you know, Kettlebells, Running, Writing. Anything that I'm interested in, I have a category for and a folder for. Um, the most important one, of course, is Vital Read, which um, obviously the things that most directly relate um, to things that I want to have a look at. And so if I've only got a small period of time, then it's Vital Reads where I'm going to go into. Now, what is very interesting about um, good old Mr. Reader here, was it Mr. Reader or Dr. Reader? I forget now. Mr. Reader, I think it was. Um, it does something which you... Um, can't do on Reader, which was fascinating, which is you can actually go and edit these um, particular 
categories. So you can see here, you can rename, delete or reorder by me tapping down on the number. So I can mix and match and play with all of these dates. I can get rid of the folder. I can rename the folder. This is a new step before I'd have to go into Google. Before I go further, um, the basics of setting up a reader and setting up Google Reader, one of the best things Google does, and all those sorts of things are covered in the challenge. And I will put a link up so you can go to the appropriate lessons. So if you're new to feed readers and feeds and RSS and all these sorts of things, you can go there and have a look at uh, those particular lessons. This is very good. So this is the first uh, feed reader application that I've ever found that's as fast as Reader. So if I tap on this article, boom, up it comes. Now, what's awesome about um, this, you'll notice on the the, the top le- uh, the top, and at the bottom, there are various little articles and things that we can do here. Um, you can see that's the RSS version. I can tap on the web button, which I'm not going to do first up because I don't do that. You'll notice that this is a fragment of an article. It's a daring fireball link and he actually does his links in a very nice way if i hit mobilizer which is that mobilizer button at the top you'll notice look at this bam straight to the actual article itself which is fantastic now if i don't have time to read this which i don't because i'm talking to you guys and i definitely do want to read it i've tapped the icon down you can see that it's pointed at the bottom of the page and i hit instapaper which is my second most favorite application. Now, interestingly, you can type a little summary in here if we needed to. I typically would not, okay? I wouldn't. I just want to hit send and have that away. Again, that's something that's very, very different. And there's an audio feedback, which is quite nice as well. So there's the RSS feed. Again, speed. How fast does all this run? That's the only thing I'm considering. That's the only thing I'm interested in. Okay, so I'm keep scrolling through here uh, this looks like a great thing now you'll notice here when we talk about speed if I just get from oh, okay I've gone tapped and opened it but if I just click over here you'll see that it's one touch instant access to insta paper now interestingly reader does that even slightly quicker but that's pretty darn efficient that works pretty darn well so I can click unread Mark all is unread. Typically, I'll add yes and don't ask again. But at the moment, while I'm getting used to this application, I'm literally doing it as Mark, uh, Mark is read. I, again, I can remove a button click. Now, speaking of... Um, I'm just going to tap reorder here. And you can see how I can just drag these up so I can get each of the the ones in the, the right order so I can even again make it more efficient uh, but I'm right in the top right hand corner just where under where you see the Telstra is actually a plus sign and you can see just a little bit of it looks like a minus sign if I tap that one of the most amazing new features of Mr. Reader which is darn wonderful is this you can add the feed on the fly. Now, what has been the biggest pain is when I've been on the iPad, and you've got to remember, I do most of my social media, my browsing, my feeding, my brain feeding, my brain fueling, everything that is crucial to me staying ahead of the game in my particular markets, I do on the iPad. Because Why? Because it's the most efficient way of doing it. If I'm front in front of the computer, I'm conducting uh, mentoring sessions, I'm conducting meetings or I am creating content. That's it. I don't, you do not want to get into the habit of doing social media on your desktop. Why? Because you're turning a creation tool into a browsing and social tool. And you don't, you want to separate those tasks. When you sit your ass in front of a computer, you want to be typing or creating, making something. That's why I love the iPad so much because you can put your feet up and it's scanning time, it's fueling time, it's beautiful, you know, that's the time to do it and it's the most efficient way of doing it. If it was faster to do on the desktop, I'd do it on the desktop. One of the biggest weaknesses, and this is where Mr. Reader has actually jumped ahead of Reader, unbelievably, is that this, we can add a feed. Now, for example, I was listening on a podcast, I love podcasts, 
And they mentioned that the show notes from one of my favourite podcasts is available as an RSS feed. Duh, I wish I had remembered that. Um, and of course, if I s- often, because I'm interacting on the iPad, the one weakness of all the reader applications up to now has been you haven't been able to add a feed. Here, you'd have to go onto a desktop, remember it, and when you're on the desktop next, go and add that in the browser or try wrangle it in the desktop, which doesn't really work as well. So, uh, magnificent uh, podcast, which is called Back to Work. And I click Add, and it'll go and search. There we go. And you can see, look at that. It's actually come up as the, uh, the first one here. Um, there's a whole bunch of interesting ones there, but that's the, you can see that's the one there and I can just add that feed. Now you can see that I've already added it, but what I actually added was the wrong, uh, was the wrong particular feed, which is, a, which is a bit of a pain. Um, so let me show you another way of doing this. So I'm just clicking into the back to work show here which is one of my favourite, favourite, favourite pages. And I'm going to just copy that link. And then I'm going to go back to Mr. Reader. I'm going to click add and you'll notice it's still working in the background, but I'm still going to hit add. And I'm going to paste that into there. Click add. And there we have it. So you can see here, this is a really, really powerful. Now you see back to work's gone into just the normal area here. So I want to move that and I want to assign it into my Vital Reads folder and click Save. Now, that's what's awesome. I, you know, that has not been possible using any other um, reader. So I like Mr. Reader. I'm going to give it a go for a week and see see how it goes. It's, I feel dirty because as you can see, um, hang on, if I go back to my homepage here, you can see that good old reader here has been a you know the, my most stable application, the first application that goes in that bottom bar here. Uh, it's the one I always have down there, and and to even contemplate replacing that is such an act of heresy. I can't tell you, but I've got to say, esports fans, um, I just wanted to say that I have uh, gone back to using reader instead of Mr. Reader, uh, because there is just too many double clicks at the moment. And also, you know, basically when the thing takes over the entire screen, it, it, it takes up time where you can just be scanning. In fact, straight after this, I've actually filmed another new screencast, which will be released very shortly, on not only Reader, but my morning workflow. So take a look out for that. Have a good look for it because it's going to really show you how I use everything. But Mr. Reader, boy, a great first attempt at an app, but it's not going to replace Reader for me. Thanks for listening.